When it comes to blisters, which socks are worst to sweat in? That's the question biological engineering students at the University of Missouri are trying to answer. They tried a variety of socks, and the worst offender just might surprise you. In this report, supplied by the University of Missouri, Kent Fattis has that story. It's the running, constant pounding, combined with sweating that can sometimes be too much for our feet, causing painful blisters. We usually focus on our shoes, but our problem could be our socks. That's why a team of University of Missouri biological engineering students developed a device to test 10 popular brands of athletic socks. The device calculates the point at which the sock material slips against the platform, which reveals its coefficient of friction. The higher COF, the greater the chance you will develop a blister. The team hopes their device could develop standards for sock makers. A lot of manufacturers are just saying theirs is the best, but what we're trying to prove is that it's all about the material composition of the sock. And their findings might surprise you. We found that 100% cotton socks were usually the, the worst as far as uh, blister formation because they had the highest coefficient of friction, especially when a person started to sweat. Nylon socks actually fared much better. The team also discovered price doesn't always matter. One interesting thing that we found was that the, as the price increased, there wasn't necessarily a better sock. MU students say the value pack socks can be just as good as the $12 pair. But the benefits of this research go beyond helping athletes avoid blisters. It's about helping diabetics who have circulation problems and figuring out where they need specific materials in their socks, like where are their target areas that would keep them from having these lesions that they get. From serious medical applications to everyday foot problems, one student says this new information will change the way she shops. Well, I'm definitely not going to be tempted by the expensive ones. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.